Yeah, I'm sitting back Cadillac and I'm talking about, right? And I'm thinking, if you got a nigga you finna go to war with, right? You gonna call this nigga out. And he's certified shooter, like, ain't you gonna have, like, some clips ready or a strategy ready to, like, take this person out, right? So, um, you know, they hit my phone. They said, yo, three weeks. Rum rum, little rum rum. I said, whatever. I'm on some shit now, like, like y'all could fly DNA out this weekend for Ultimate Madness 3. I smoke them this weekend. Three rounds on my mama. So they they say the little, because he been saying my name, but besides that little rum rum, right? I said, whatever. Y'all said the price already, whatever. These niggas like, he said no. What's going on, everybody? This is Temperature Check. I am your host as always, man. Mr. Check the Temperature, how y'all doing? Before I get started with today's content, I must do what I always do anytime you see me on your screen. And that's thank you guys for the likes, comments, shares, most importantly, those subscriptions. So whether you be a day one fan, somebody who just started rocking with the channel today, man, I greatly appreciate it. And if you're loving what I got going on my YouTube and you want to see more of me, easy money, man. Follow me on Twitter, Mr. Temp Check. Check me out on Instagram, Mr. Check the Temp picture but before we get started with today's content man check me out tonight live 8 p.m eastern standard time you know it's temperature check tuesdays and you know we got the good content tonight we got one of the battlers that is main eventing in the second round of the ultimate madness three for a hundred racks for a hundred racks and for that spot on known man we got swamp man we got swamps South Carolina's very own Swamp will be in the building live tonight. Temperature check Tuesdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You already know it's about to go up. You already know it's about to go up. We're going to get into all things awesome and madness, and we definitely going to get into the details and what I think he has to do in order to get the upset and beat Geechee Gotti. But let's talk about today's topic, man. So, Shout out to Hollow the Dime, boy, boy, where you been, boy, boy, where you been? You know, you went, you went on your, 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 your escapade about being paid more and, and about residuals and royalties and battles. You know, you, you stepped out on that branch and you, you was the only one out there on it. But now you back talking battle rap. Now you back talking actually getting in, in the ring and mixing it up. So you took to your IG last night and you said that you got the call from the URL and they had a, a, a proposition for you. They said three weeks. No, we got somebody for you. Could you, can you, can you prepare in three weeks, first of all? And you jumped out the window and you said you in a different type of bag. You said that you could get DNA this weekend and you would smoke him three up. Sir, I don't know if you realize DNA is on a different level. No gun bar DNA is the most deadliest DNA I've ever seen in my entire life. So I don't know if you can just want to, you want to jump out on that ledge. I don't think that's what you really want to do. However, let's get to this possible known matchup. So they gave you the call and they, who they have in mind for you, they have Rum Nitty. And you said Rum Nitty turns you down? Now, we all know that Rum Nitty has been calling Hollow out for months. And every time he's called Hollow out, Hollow, you have declined the offer. So now that you've been pinning for a number of months, you've been sharpening your tools, now you ready to jump back into the bag? But now Rum Nitty said he, he no longer has interest in it. Or he has a other things on his mind. Maybe a hundred thousand dollars. Hollow. It's very ironic that you want Nitty now while he needs to focus on a hundred thousand dollars. So at this point, this battle could wait for me. I'm gonna be honest with you. I want to see peak nitty. I want to see $100,000 worth of bars rum nitty. And I want to see rum nitty at his very best when he battles hollow. Those two things cannot happen on the same card. That you cannot rum nitty. Although I know he can prep in short time, rum nitty cannot repeat. He cannot prep for hollow 
during the Ultimate Madness tournament with thoughts of battling Hollow and battling for $100,000 at the same time. That is not smart. That is how you sabotage yourself. That is exactly how you sabotage yourself because you're thinning your pen. So, Rum Nitty, you do exactly what you did. You decline that. Say, I'll get back to you in a minute. I'm focused on $100,000 right now. A hundred racks. It's a different type of time when you're a parent and you got $100,000 in front of your face. I'm just saying. So, I don't feel bad for Hollow for not, for not getting a response from Nitty. Hollow, you've 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 been writing, you've been where you've been doing LOM, you've been doing your own thing, you've been doing focusing on your music, and you've been prepping for for rum for months. So now that you see that that rum has a distraction that could take away from his focus on your particular battle, now you won't nitty. You not slick, sir. You not slick. But let's talk about another battle that's supposed to uh, go down allegedly unknown, man. Daylight versus K-Shine. Now, I'll be honest. I don't know if I really like this battle. Given what we've seen, given what has been going on in battle rap right now. I do not know if I like this battle right now for K-Shine. K-Shine has been very consistent. Very consistent since, obviously, taking away the Chiller battle. Prior to that, he had not had a clear loss since Hitman Holla on Summer Madness 6. He was on one of the longest tears and runs we had seen in the battle rap community that was until... He met the kingpin until he met Chilla Jones. What is K-Shine? He's performance. He's energy. He's high aggression. But what is Chilla? He is a pin. He is a performer. He knows how to deliver his bars multi-layered. And if he can do that, we know Daylight can. But here's my thing about Daylight. Everyone obviously draws to what Daylight was able to do against Rock. How many of those performances has he given you? you his, his career has been up and down. Now, he might have figured it out with that Rock performance, but I got to see it again. And after the, the Chilla versus K-Shine, when everyone was saying that K-Shine got smoked, what did he do? He got right back into that bag, had pro arguably the best two-on-two -two ever, the best two-on-two -two ever, and it wasn't even with DNA. I like the fact that K-Shine's back is definitely going to be up against the wall on this one. He is definitely a wounded animal at this point, but wounded animals are the most dangerous. Wounded animals, you can't expect how they're going to react. But again, we're talking performance versus bars. And right now in these small room, bars are clear and day over performance. So I don't know if I necessarily want to see this K-Shine versus Daylight. Not in a small room, not with limited crowd. Now, if I could get this in a traditional gnome setting... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Because I, I believe that that energy that K-Shine is, is able to exude, that, that passion that he's able to deliver his bars with, would be able to stand up with the multi-layers of a daylight in a big room. But it's not that. It's not that. So it's a very interesting battle, man. It's a very interesting battle. I don't know who I would have winning that battle because, again, although we saw what Daylight could do in a small room with no crowd, he's only given a performance of that caliber one time. One time. With K-Shine, he's been consistent for years, but we saw what his Achilles heel was. It is a pin in a small room. We saw that. These multi-layer pins, when you get to those in-game level type pins, where, where four-bar setups, 
can mean double, triple, quadruple entendres. The setups can lead to entendres. The setups themselves are un are entendres. When you think about the daylight versus rock battle, he was able to connect the dots from freestyles on I-95. There's references in his freestyles from years ago that pertain to what he was talking about in that in that rock battle. So again, K Shine. Think this is I think this is a great test for K Shine. Again, he's a wounded animal. He's you a lot of people are going to count him out in this battle. But I think that's when K Shine is gonna be at his best. I think it's been a very, very long time since K Shine has been a clear underdog. A clear underdog. This is gonna be a very, very interesting known. Very interesting known. But don't forget, man, pull up tonight, man. 8 p.m. We got swamp. We're gonna have a good time, man. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's Mr. Check the Temperature. It's Swamp. And of course, more importantly, it's y'all the fans that support in the brand. So this is Temperature Check. I am your host as always, man. Mr. Check the Temperature. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And like always, we just getting started.